What's up guys, it's ToolGuyY here and today I'll be walking you through an inverter pump replacement on a 2009 Toyota Prius. Let's get into it. Alright guys, let's start the repair by opening your hood. Next, remove some clips holding down the panel covering the radiator. To remove the clips, all you have to do is back out the plastic Phillips screw middle, then pry up once it's a little more than halfway out. When all the clips are removed, remove the panel and put to the side so it's out of your way. Remove three more clips holding down the bumper to the upper radiator support. These clips are a little different. To remove, pry up the middle, then pry the whole thing out. Next, using a Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips bit, remove two rubber grommets holding down the bumper to the upper radiator support. Next, disconnect the starting battery and remove the service plug out of the hybrid battery. The reason why we're doing this is because this is the inverter pump and we are working right next to the inverter. If you guys don't know where your battery is or your service plug is, check out my other video link in the description below or above. Next, we're going to have to remove the bumper. The first step to removing the bumper is to remove the front left wheel. Use your 21mm socket to remove 5 21mm nuts holding the wheel to the wheel hub. Make your way to the bottom of the car and remove 3 10mm screws holding down the inner fender well to the front bumper. Next, using a suitable pry tool, remove 3 more clips holding down the inner fender well. Using the same method we used before, pry out the inner, then pry out the whole clip itself. Once those three clips are removed, pull back the inner fender well towards the back of the car and wedge it behind the spindle so it's out of your way. Remove one more 10mm screw holding down the bumper to the fender. Once that's done, carefully pull the bumper towards you. Using a 10mm socket or wrench, remove one more 10mm bolt holding down the headlight assembly located here. Make your way to the top of the car and remove one more 10mm bolt holding down the headlight assembly in the front corner. Then make your way to the top corner and remove one more 10mm bolt. Once the three bolts holding down the headlight assembly are removed, partially pull out the headlight assembly because we still have to disconnect the light bulbs. To help pull out the headlight assembly, I recommend slowly and carefully pulling down the bumper so that we don't scratch it and it doesn't get caught on it. Once the headlight is partially out, reach behind and remove three connectors going to the light bulbs. To remove the connectors, all you have to do is push down the locking tab and pull the connector off. Once everything's disconnected, pull it out and put on the side so it's out of your way. With the headlight assembly removed, you guys can now see the inverter pump located right behind it. Slide a catch can under the car to catch the coolant. Next, remove two hose clamps on the two hoses going to the inverter pump. Because those hose clamps were at a weird angle, I used a hose clamp plier and a long needle nose plier to remove the hose clamps. Remove and disconnect the inverter pump connector and put it on the side so it's out of your way so that we don't get any coolant on or in it. Using a hose plier, release the hose off the inverter pump. Hose pliers are great for this because they're circular shaped and they allow you to grab the hose evenly and grip it so you can pull it out at one time without breaking or ripping the hose. Next, using a 10mm socket, remove three 10mm bolts holding down the inverter pump to the bracket. Once those three bolts are removed, grab the inverter pump and shake it to drain out any leftover coolant. Remove and drop the new one in. To reinstall, install in reverse order. But don't leave just yet, I still have a couple tips for you. Okay, so first tip for you guys is I always recommend putting on new hose clamps. In my opinion, these style hose clamps work the best and if you guys have to take it off again for some reason, they are easier to take off and remove. If you guys are reusing the old hose clamps and aren't putting on new ones, I do recommend making sure that you put on the old hose clamps in the same position as you took it off. Lastly, don't forget to bleed your coolant. Top off your inverter reservoir with pink Toyota coolant and your radiator and just run the car for a while to release all the air bubbles in the inverter. Congratulations guys, you now know how to change out an inverter on a 2009 Toyota Prius. If you liked or found this video informative, please support me by smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel for more how-to and tour review videos. Also check me out on Instagram at toolguyy where I post daily. Thank you guys again for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Shoots!